Attention! This will contain very sensitive subject matter such as harassment, near suicide, sexism, transphobia, pedophilia, grooming, and many more. If you are uncomfortable with this or gonna feel triggered, watch under your own risk. Stay away from all sharp objects. And make sure you have something soft like a stuffed animal or pillow to help you feel better from this very difficult video. This will be your first and only trigger warning in this video. <coughs> Who the hell are you two? I know GP and Ivory Ultra. But who are you two? Let me introduce myself. I'm a man of hate and disgust. How about you let Rise Girl head back to her cup? Do you wanna die? You guys know that I have been waiting to end this for almost two years at this point, huh? You two, hmm? This is your fault. All of this would have been avoided if you just accepted me for tracing and stealing people's art. Does it look like I'll accept you for any of this? Tracing, stealing art, putting me in fetish art, putting Lincoln in fetish art, and many, many more stuff? In the span of almost two years, I've dealt with you ALMOST TWO YEARS! And you have learned NOTHING from everyone who has talked about you! My friends, my ex-friends, and random people! You've learned NOTHING! NOTHING from them! And you still continue this! But, maybe you just wanted to leave it like that, do ya? I will kill you and rise girl. You reek of weakness. You cunt. Hey buddy, hey, 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 hey. Maybe wait until I give it the all clear. And then you and I we will kill Helene. But make it brutal and slow. Now look at us. We're pedophiles and you guys hate kids now at this point. Drop dead rise girl. No, we know it's something you hate, that everyone starts making fun at this point. It doesn't mean you have to do it like that. I would like, just, just don't. Please, no. Spit. <sighs> Alright, I really not important. Kill her. Go. Leave me alone. I've done nothing but touch- This is the first time! <laughs> you brought this onto yourself. Yeah, 3 plus videos is way less to only like under 3. Oh my god, you're so pathetic at this point. Haley, we've killed you, quote unquote girlfriend. How about we do it to you? <sighs> it's done. Finally done. <laughs> I'm remaking this again. Do not go after anyone mentioned in this video. This will give you along with me a really bad rap. I do not want anyone to be crying in my direct messages over this. That's it. Enjoy this video by a low budget channel. You either die a hero. Or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain.
How many times do I like, do this, Haley? Mess with my friends, I mess with you. Look at all the stuff you've done in the span of almost two years. You never listen, you never learn, know anything. People have talked about you. Stop this. You don't listen. Now you force my hands. Want to stop? This stuff immediately and understand. Even some of my new friends and ex friends. No matter how hard we try, you say they are sensitive. When you get triggered over the word pussy and bitch. So if you want to go out to my friends and ex friends again, you have to face me again. Either accept that what you did is wrong, and accept what I'm gonna say. Or leave the internet forever because I'll do anything in my power to spread this. Now, I've got to talk about this entire time like, at this point, but I think there's one thing that you don't know about, along with everyone in the world. We don't like pedophiles. Something you don't see eye to eye with us, Haley. Hailstone Productions, who is used to be named uh, PinK935 and Dark Lord Henry, is a DR user who has been controversial since mid 2020. During these years, there have been over 30 videos. People mentioning her, making full videos on her, and car journals, among other stuff. She appeared in the 2033 N film, Getting Killed by Ivy Ultra. How did this all happen? How long has this happened? This video will explain everything. Hi, my name is JP, also known as Connor Productions. I am an 18 year old commentary channel who has been dealing with Haley since July of 2020. Now, I'll be explaining all of this in this long video. I'll be discussing Pink K95L from 2020 to late 2020, Dog Lord Elva from late 2020 to summer 2021. And now, here we are. The date is December 25th of 2018, Christmas. Haley made her account with the name PinkK935. She didn't start uploading until January of 2019, when she made fair shot out of FNAF kills from the popular fan-made game, The Joy Creation from 2019 to mid or late 2019. They barely get as many, they don't really get faves, rightfully so, they're, they're kind of bad. She was around 16 years old when she made these drawings. This is started making a fair shot of a, on a man. Uh. Who she started making a fair shot around late 2019. From the looks of it, it seems nothing special. Just a uh, out of the mill macro on right? Unfortunately, that was not the case. From as much information I can get, this is a real person who she had a crush on, even though he was dating someone. I myself have no idea who the said person is or how this all started. But the original person felt very uncomfortable when she was drawing this to the point of doxing to get the dad to take away her tablet. Which I can understand. Which I think it worked, but I myself, if I was in that situation, I would have gone straight to the cops about this. Haley has joined Amino on an unknown date. She wants a Amino called the Macro House that has two members that are her and an unknown individual. The exact date was not identified, but this but this contains a trace drawing. This is the original and the trace one. Can you see the similarities? Uh. Because I do. This was a request I told someone and she traced it like it was nothing. She traced people's art and stole people's art. She recently stole my art with nudity. When I took it down rightfully, she had the nerve to upload it to YouTube and said my stalker took it down. Maybe don't trace my stuff and I won't have to take it down, Haley. The copy there's like a reason why I protect my copyright. If you are tracing my art without permission, you are well, gonna have it struck down at this point. I'm sorry, but please contact me if you uh, 
see people stealing your art or your or my own art. It was April of 2020. I was around 16 or 15 at the time when I discovered her and she made this. Now I've checked around and it was the macro stuff and she had a Discord account that I sent her a request. I thought she was one of the nicest people I've ever talked to. I decided to invite her to my server until she is until she was banned in June of 2020. Someone notified about some information about her, I will show the screenshots right now. And I looked at it and immediately banned her. As of 2020, it's now 2022, she is banned from my Discord server with a very low chance of her returning. Her stealing art is a cog uh, for doing this. She disabled the comments. She still has them up to this very day. They're currently saved on one of my drives. Then on July 11th, 2020, I called her out in the video called my thoughts, Pink K935, Tracer Edition. Calling her out for tracing. I messed up with the spelling of thoughts. Sorry about that. It's considered one of my most viewed videos of, well, my thoughts. Besides, well, being underneath of these four guys. This started an entire series of people calling her out. I'm making another video on her, which you are watching right now. From this 18 year old who has dealt with her since 2020. She ended up making a response, a pretty bad response to say the least. I included in my update, I am now used to clip from it. Recently I woke up at 4.30 or around that time. I I opened up YouTube and found some, uh, well, I'm not gonna say that because you know, my mom is a Karen. Made a video about me. Let's address the claims he makes. All right, and let's debunk them. Trace slash stealing artwork. Yes, I traced art, but I'm still learning to draw better anatomy and stuff. I haven't been to school in four months. Well, I'm headed back to school in September, and it's like you know the twenty fourth right now. And I doubt it's gonna be like, you know, real school. Which it won't be. Freaking Todd School District. So my only source of information is Google Images. I know it's stupid. Stupid? No, it's not stupid. It's not that hard. It'll take a lot of time because, the, you know, drawing takes a lot and a lot of time. I mean, look at me, I always start drawing some more. No, oh my god, I keep on saying that 24 7 all the time! I, I, be, I don't want to be more repetitive. <laughs> yes, it was stupid. I said it before. 
I could watch all this on YouTube. You should. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> I've done it before, and I kind of find the name is forgettable. Not gonna lie, um, I guess my brain decides for a walnut. But I'm too lazy, so, uh, F off, low. Yeah, you don't have to be lazy, uh. I mean, most people say I'm lazy, but, like, you know. You know what I'm gonna say. Wait, sis, this is only separate. Separate? <laughs> Did I say it right? Daniel, you have the floor. Separate. Separate? Separate, you meant? I might look like one, but the racial source were not so. Uh, derogatory? I don't have an answer. Sorry. Uh, derogatory. Derogatory. Uh, be right back. Derogatory. It's just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Joke God! I get full of music exists, but as you can see, I was gentle. Yeah, gentle. <laughs> Immature. This claim is very vague, in my opinion. Yeah, it's not kind of big if you ask me, yeah. Just keep it with a heavy swag and that's it. But this is something that a heavy swag would do, not gonna lie. What you lie what the hell he said? Also, I have Asperger syndrome. <laughs> Never use your disorder as an excuse. Temporal behavior skills. My friend has Asperger's syndrome, does he use it as an excuse? Absolutely not. I mean, I have autism, but do I use it as an excuse nowadays? Absolutely not. That made me look like an idiot. So, well, I'm, I'm gonna end here. I'm sorry, everyone. Well, I wish I didn't accept your apology, but... You went berserk. And of course, uh, Harry's talking, you know, the drama has, drama has ended because, like, you know, who the hell cares about him? The drum is dead. Now, we just have to be all like, you know, I'll accept your apology, but. Nope! This is what he said. Hey guys, do me a favor and bomb, and di bomb this like, this video for me. We will, will be me drawing a fan of you. Haley says she isn't racist, but eh, maybe we'll get into that soon. And she uploaded her first fetish drawing out of me. I was 16 years old. She was 17. And I felt so uncomfortable. And she has been doing this since. She started doing this when I turned 16. She'll be turning 20 on October 23rd of 2020. If she would be 20 years old, this would be even more sadder at this point. I made another video on her, pretty much responding to her. She said I have made, she said I have made fair shot out of Violet Paw. But at the time I was making it, I was 14 years old. Do I regret it? Yeah, I do. But she calls me a hypocrite even though I was 14. I have not drawn fair shot out of Violet Paw since. I have absolute regrets of drawing it. And she is extremely racist towards me because I'm part Hispanic, and she still is. But let's get into that later. Haley released her first Fairshaw drawing of Lincoln Loud on May 13th, 2020, which the date was on a Wednesday. Lincoln Loud is 11 to 12 years old. Her recent drawing on Lincoln Loud is unknown. Do not took them down on February of 2021. She re upload them saying that they were being stupid, even though this is what Demon says about sexual art on children. To harm minors in any way, including, but not limited to, uploading, posting, or otherwise transmitting content that violates child pornography laws, child sexual exploitation laws or laws prohibiting the depiction of minors engaged in sexual conduct, 
or submitting any personally identifiable information about any child under the age of 13. Anyone who has made fetish art as a minus and tried justifying it are disgusting people. Nikon Lab was not the only one. She made fetish art out of her sisters. Well, his sisters. I don't know why I said her sisters. Uh, sorry about that. One of them is 7 years old. All of them have been archived under the drives as of 2020. She still has them on her DeviantArt. They're not going anywhere. If you delete it, Haley, I'll, I'll put this in my drive. I'll put it in my drive. Could be anywhere. So you better find it. Haley has shown her lusting for Lincoln Loud, which deals with the screenshots. Now remember, Haley is an adult now. Lincoln Loud is 11 to 12 years old. Pedophilia at its finest. And she tends to A log other fan breasts despite her being one as well, but way worse than them. Most people say in the 2033 N movie, along with some of the uh, intros I have for some of my modern day videos, was A logging. Despite me saying these are 100% jokes. So in 2021, I got a DM from someone saying to check the NSW channel. I was like, oh boy, what is it? I went on my art, and I wanted to die. It was my design, well, redesign of her character. That's now my OC, who she has continuously made fetish art of. Ain't no boring Lincoln Loud. I wish I could make this up. I really wish I would have show it, but I am now 100% showing it onto YouTube. They will put a bullet in my head. I'll probably put it in my drive, but it's just disturbing. Really disturbing. If I say do not make point of my characters, accept it. I will only allow it if you ask permission. If I say yes, which is kind of a very small chance, go for it. But if I say no, accept it. She didn't do any of this. She has released this on March 15th, 2021 on her account that she has no control of. Fortunately, it was, it was not suspended. Now I've got a ton of proof for me to get on her. As of 2022, they are still there to this very day. On July 6, 2020, Haley released a drama called Little Man, announcing that they're trans. This lasted from July 6, 2020 to January 4th, 2021, when she became gender fluid. At the time, I released my video on her, and I called her a she e slash her with those she slash her pronouns. Thinking that it wouldn't matter and people notify me that Haley is trans, which kind of, well, they at age pretty well, I gotta say. She was called out by her partner for pretending to be trans just to say slurs. The slurs is something I need evidence on. Unfortunately, her brother isn't online that much. If he is online, more often, he can DM me more evidence. Haley had, well, several name changes. First being Helene. She also uses on Helene the Hyena, which has unfortunately been silent. She is, the videos on, well, the, well I don't know if there were any videos, but her channel is still here to this very day. Second name change she had being Henry, which is, well, kind of what most people tend to call her nowadays until, well, the third name change, Haley, which she, uh, well, I started using her, well, as Haley for a long period of time, I still do. And right now, her name is now Andrew, and he uses he slash day pronouns. But there's a high possibility of her faking it and her opinions on men. Like all men. So call her Sleesh as she slash her. No one knows where her brother is at now. If you have any contact on where his brother is, DM me on all my social media accounts. If anyone is trans and they're disgusted by what she did. I am truly sorry. My heart goes out to you guys. No one should have to deal with this. No one should have to deal with people faking sexualities. 
the second one has a ton of evidence because this was going on for months. Gooby Kitten, who was named Whole Kitten, and now is named Neko Ellison. Haley has groomed her from September or even earlier to 2020. Haley hasn't gone over her while well, breaking up with her. Neko Ellison lied about her age. And they said they were over 18 years old. Until someone showed Gooby's face and it was confirmed she was even younger. This came as a shock to me. At the time, I thought she was about 18 or 19, but not this young. They made porn out of Gooby and she keeps blaming her for wanting it. Yeah, I know, Gooby should not be drawing porn because they are not 18 years old unlike me. I turned 18 not that long ago. And I'm not drawing porn because my name is not even ready at that, so... Gooby allegedly says that Haley sent her nudes. Now this is an allegation, so I'm taking it with a grain of salt. Sadly, she deleted in her original account. And she couldn't get the screenshot. And now the second one being Dicey. Dicey is someone who I've been friends with for a while. And she was groomed by Haley as well. Sadly, there isn't much information, so if there's any information that Dicey can give me, I highly recommend you DM me it now. Haley has been confirmed to be a sexist. A really big sexist. She says that females are perfect despite both men and women having messed up stuff in them. Haley has said that female pedophiles do not exist. Let me say this quickly. They do exist, but if you keep denying it... Oh wait, you said this. And she got way shield when uh, she said that. Someone said, what are you talking about? They do exist. I've seen one. And then her victim said that she, uh, well, the one that she was groomed by, that being Gooby, who was groomed by her, See, saying that she is one, which I 100% agree on. But, we're getting on to that next part. And of course, she wants to kill all men, along with trying to mass flag me because I don't, I don't believe in trans women. They want to have friends who are trans. Yeah, you heard that right. Right now, I am friends with trans men and women. How do you be debunked, Haley? She said this, and man, she got ratio into oblivion. Just look at it. Hashtag kill all men. Not a joke tweet. We, as women, should wipe out the male species in order to improve this world. Otherwise, global warming will be coming in the year 2100 and national disasters worsens. Especially the ones who claim to be nice guys and yet being creepy towards us. Incels, police officers, coomers. White supremacists, stalkers, sexists, etc. Hopefully, we will find a way to get rid of them. Hashtag men are trash. Uh. People said Weishio along with me being the first. Because look, it's so retarded for her to say that. Let me say this, Haley. In 2021, two 11 year old boys nearly killed themselves from girls spamming kill all men which ended up getting TikTok's attention and banning the hashtag. He also said that men's suicide isn't important. Men have a higher chance of killing themselves than women. I'm not saying women can't be depressed, because they can. Anyone can be depressed, no matter what gender they are or know anything. But you are saying that men's suicide are not important they deserve to die is sickening. One of my favorite singers killed himself, and he was one of my inspirations for learning DEATH METAL. FOCUS! You're disgusting, Haley. No matter how hard you try to justify your sexism, you're gonna get yourself even more hate. You say you're doing this for attention, but in reality, you're being serious. You say I'm sexist for saying pussy and bitch, even though they are not slurs. Even I said, that's what she said, as a joke, you call me sexist. A sexist call me sexist. My mind that's surprising the slightest. Haley is confirmed to be one of the worst pedophiles I have dealt with. And I thought Aaron Doan was bad. He made it like in child porn. Yeesh. She made it being a pedophile, well, a lot. She keeps saying that therapy is bullshit. I've been in therapy since 2017. It gets a pen 
on what well people have as an experience. Some have good experiences, like me. Some have bad experiences, and some have average. Nothing is perfect. She says I am lying about pedophiles. Man, I have a white reason why I hate pedophiles, along with other people. Haley, this is the definition of a pedophile. A pedophile who is sexually attracted, well, to children. You've said you've got Peter OCD. You saw the friend someone by the name of Pambachu. You don't know what Pambachu is? Here's some info about him. Yeah! Go, baby diaper lovers, or whatever it's called, it's one of the most disturbing fetishes I've ever seen. It's diaper fetish. Disgusting! The video is explaining this, so please drink while you're looking at this. It's that bad. She is currently defending someone by the name of Ben Looney, who has drawn child porn. Just like what she did with her character along with my OC with Lincoln Loud. What? Haley has said she will hang out with pedophiles. If someone is a pedophile, you cut ties with them immediately. No ifs and no buts. No one likes pedophiles. I've hated for them for a long time. And if someone is a pedophile and they get a huge following and small following, they need a platform gone. There are no ifs and no buts. Keep saying that I'm a pedophile and say that Jane the Killer is 13 even though this is her canonical age. Why Jane the Killer is aging up every year because, you know, it's some of your life. They go up, rinse and repeat, which is something in that everyone has to deal with. But Haley, well she really hates growing up, I don't know why, so never really question her logic, so I mean it's Haley or Helene, I never question her. Haley has got a lot of feuds. You think MTK's feuds were retarded? Haley is way more retarded. First feud with, was with me. This has been going on since July of 2020. To the point where I started using her for entertainment. For uh, meltdowns. Do I think she'll stop? Nope! Not even a simple joke I make on her is bad. I mean, she's been coming in on my stuff, getting mad at my jokes. You don't let me make jokes on you, just ignore it. Move on with the video. You want to make jokes on me? I mean, not as much. But do I care? No. Because I make fun of myself. Everyone's not protected. This is part of life. He still makes fans on me, which I doubt she'll stop. A second few. Robin. An ex best friend of mine. Robin made a video talking about Haley. And it managed to get my attention because, you know, the beef me and her are dealing with. I'm not gonna defend Mom for his actions. The little Trot doesn't deserve a platform at all at this point for abusing animals. There were videos talking about him, but Haley Mar Robin for being groomed, saying that Robin and Tonks guy sitting on the tree. K I S S I N G. Now he's finally with saying Haley and no one sitting on the tree. Haley to goddamn prison! Because, you know, Haley doesn't deserve any support. She needs a plan to go bye bye! And another one was Watermelon the Cat. I know she's gonna mess up stuff, I'm not gonna get myself involved. We're gonna be involved in it by anyway, which yes, one of them was involved in a uh, Haley's fan shop with the title Squishing Time. She has the same as the comments, which proves how much of a cow she is. I mean, maybe she never do that. There could be more views that she could be having, but again, we do not know. No one knows except for Haley, because you know, it's Haley. She never learns at this point. This one. This just pisses me off. Now, if you're gonna read this, Haley has faked self harm be before, and she made a mockery of it, saying I faked it back when I was struggling. I managed to find the picture of the self harm image, and guess where it's from? Wikipedia! Yes, you heard that right. She faked it, and she got an image from Wikipedia. I am not showing it. That's gonna get my channel a strike. I do not want this video to be taken down. I really don't. Cause, you know, how long I've been working on this video on? I don't know how long I've been working on it because I'm reading the script by now. So, hello, future. Um, uh. Now, since me and my friends have talked about all the stuff I can get from Haley, I'll be sure to mention a few people along with uh, YouTubers as well. Starting with the following people. This is part one. 
Haley, stop acting like this right now. The fact that you keep refusing to listen to us to the point where I'm close to making 10 extra drives on you and I nearly die from it is insane. Just stop what you're doing. No one likes you at this point. Leave the internet as a whole or we'll force you to do it. Haley's mom, please talk to your daughter about this. This is not gonna go well. And will lead the people to find you and merely contact you about your daughter's actions. If she continues this, take away all the electrons for a long period of time. This is something that will make everyone who is against Haley proud of you. And it means you actually care for once. Haley's brother and sister, contact your local authorities because your sister's a pedophile. She groomed two minors, possibly three at this point. People who have groomed minors deserve to get arrested. And some of them have gotten away scotch free. She has done a lot of harm to her reputation to the point where it's unrecognizable. All of the good stuff she did is no longer real. This will be your only notification for you guys. Join me. And Haley's dad. If you are listening to this and seeing this, I want you to get rid of all of Haley's electronics and disable her platforms. Like how you did before when she was going out with someone's boyfriend. So, how about do me? and my friends a favor. Now let's get to the YouTubers who we should talk about. Starting with the following YouTubers. Some of the big following, some of the small following, so let's start with the first one. Kitty Khan. I, I uh, think that's how you p pronounce it. Uh, I'm sorry if I messed it up, so uh, my bad, my bad, my bad. But anyway, I've been interested in your content. When I started talking about Robin Strong before I made my video on Robin, why is platform being removed? Well, I don't know if you uploaded way before, you know. I did that. I don't even know what so, uh. Maybe my me or something? I don't know. I messed up. My bad. I think this is something you should really talk about. If you want me to be in your podcast, DM me. Now join the podcast to talk about the, uh, Haley drama I've been in for like almost two years to this point. Uh, now we'll easily will be fine by me. But releasing it probably will be even better. Hit me back if you want more details. Father Ashton. The same goes to you with Kitty. But I think you'll do a better job talking about her. You might to put some good points on why Robin has been acting like this and wanting to get as much information. Despite being in the bandwagon for Robin, I say go for it. This person needs more people to call out to help spread awareness. Hear me back if you want more information. Basie McSpacer. Despite you mentioning Haley back when you, you, well, called her Henry, but it was clear that she was faking trans. And you don't want to be in the rabbit hole, but it is something you, you shouldn't ignore. Grooming two people and possibly another one, this is something that you really need to talk about. And get yourself ready. If you don't want to make a video on this, he'll be your white. He can be very triggering to some people. Sada Gascar. When you cut us the anime and other retarded people on TikTok, but how about you join me to talk about Haley? This is something that you should really get yourself ready for. If you need more information, there are drives ready. Hollow. I know you've done some things that you should be accountable for along with many other stuff that I need to address. But I want you to do me the favor and talk about Haley. This is something that needs to be spread all across the internet. Uh. And the, oh, and I know you're wondering how you right now as of the time of making this script and reading it. But do me the favor and talk about Hailstorm Productions because this person needs more attention. And let's get on to the final three. Scrim. One of my idols of 2020. I know you're currently on a hiatus. At least I think. I mean, I'm reading this at the time. I don't know if you're out of a hiatus, so... 
But you talk about people who blew minds instead. So how about you talk about Haley when you had years is done? I want everyone to make videos on Haley, documenting her with everything about her. I want all of you guys to stop by nothing until she's finally ready to give up at this point. We must join together to stop Haley as a whole. Jax! Remember when you talked about Andrew and the other Roblox pedophiles? I talked to you about Haley and thinking that they won't actually care about the video, but this is something that might be getting more miles closer from Andrew. I say, go for it. <laughs> if you won't make the video, it'll be alright. And last but not least, go to cattle. You've made some good explanations on the Warren drama. Like one of the best explanations I've seen before the other guys talked about them in the good way. Well, some of them at least I think. Some of them can be crap. So maybe you can have a fun time destroying Haley. And if I had to start every beef with every single commentary channel, every rant channel, big, small, new, or old, I want everyone to make a bit idiot on Haley. We are not gonna stop until she's officially done. She does not deserve a platform and never will at this point. And I finally reached the end of this video. The beast is close to being slayed as a whole for almost two years. I want everyone to make a video on her. I know I said this before and I sound like a broken record. Because we need everyone to talk about her. This has gone far enough to the point where every commentary channel, every ranter, should talk about her. <coughs> so it's your choice, Haley. Contain the fight or give up. Because it's the end for you. And it is near. Your choice, Haley. To leave your platforms as a whole. Leave the internet as a whole. Turn yourself into the cost of gloomy miners. Have people report all of your accounts or all of the above. No one likes pedophiles. They never will. No ifs. And no buts. Thank you guys for voice your opinions on Haley. As your saying goes, you either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Goodbye. <laughs> why, why, why am I even making that laugh? I'm asking myself to be honest.